Hello everyone and welcome to this series on how to draw iconic rock stars. Before we start, of course, if you could subscribe, that would be fabulous. Thank you very much. And also, ring that little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well, our rock star today is the king himself, Elvis Presley. Okay, and I'm going to draw him turning around slightly looking at you from the side. And uh, also from around about, you know, late 50s, the classic... Elvis look. Okay, and I'm going to start with the eyes on an angle like that and his left eye starts about here. Now he has a kind of brooding look Elvis so bring that eye up and then curve it down in a kind of shadow curve like that and then the bottom of the eye comes in like that, not too deep and back up a little point there and then this pupil fills that space there with the eyelid coming in in a line there and above it quite a straight eyebrow like that nicely formed eyebrow coming down at the corners beyond that corner of the eye there and the other eye starts behind the nose here the nose comes up the top of the nose comes up at an angle towards the other eyebrow which appears in here. They see part of it because the forehead comes up here. That's the forehead and top part of his eye coming in. So this is above the eyelid. Then the actual eyelid itself in a curve. You know, this is part of the eye. The pupil in fact appearing behind that line of the nose there. And the bottom part of the eye coming in there you see the curve of the eyeball like that and also really quite thick eyelashes curving out like that. They'll be thicker here but I'll draw them in later. And also on the lower eye coming in there and that curve you can imagine with the skin covering it there and then the cheekbone coming out over it and below it there coming around and going behind the nose. Now the nose is very straight Quite a graceful straight nose. And down to a point there. And curving in the nostril. The side of the nostril coming up in a curve like that. And quite a chiseled look to his lips. You've got this curve just above his lip there, like that, coming in, the indentation shape. And then the curve of the top lip quite pronounced like that. Coming back into the lip itself. Again, very chiseled look to the lip, the V shape there. Then a nice curve coming down to the corner of the mouth. You follow that up to that point there. The rest of the mouth disappeared behind there. And you see quite a full lower lip coming in here. Like that. And we carry on with the outside edge of his cheekbone here coming in behind his mouth and down to the chin. There, kind of rounded, coming up like that. And you see a curve to pick out the shape of his, the roundedness of his chin there. Okay, now back up to the top for a second and um, we'll put the hair in. Now I've got a high forehead here and the hair of course swept up as a great quiff like that. And the line of the top of his head comes in only kind of parallel with that right across here. Down to that point there and down to his sideburns which come in in a line across here. And of course the type bands are all kind of swept this way. So I'll put those lines in just now. And they go across his ear. There, the ear comes out behind there. Right. And we have the shapes of the inside of his ear coming in there. Like that. And the back of his head come away up like that. But all this hair here is swept up. And it appears, it sticks up at the, at the top. And there are quite a few lines sticking up there. 
and you can just indicate with your pencil the way in which the hair is combed. So that's to kind of curve around that way and towards the back. And down here, not too long at the back. Comes in just behind his ear there and his neck. And you get his jawbone coming in here and his collar turned up, of course, classic turned up collar. And the lapel of his jacket just very quickly put in in there. Okay, so there is our uh, pencil sketch which I'm now going to go over with a fine pen just to kind of firm it up a bit. I don't even have a 0.8 pen now. What I'm going to do is just go over those pencil lines that are done, just pick them out, sharpen them up a bit. So basically, you know, with the eye, I'll start from the corner here and just go up and start to pick out the thickness of the eyelashes here. You know, there's a bit more. And I'll be shading in with a pencil later, but this is just to kind of accentuate all the main points of the face. And that, when the lower lip comes in, lid comes in there, and a little line for his lower eyelashes coming in there. And then around the outside, like that. Little highlight right about there. And the center of his people comes in there. That will be black and it'll be kind of grayish or dark gray right about here. Okay, so I'm going to continue just outlining those pencil lines as I've been doing. And I'll catch up here when I've done that. Okay, I'm just finishing off with this fine pen now. It's indicating some of the, the way the hair's lying with that. Also along the top here, uh, there'll be highlights obviously because the hair is quite shiny. Uh, so what you do is you draw just a few kind of shapes like that. These are going to be white highlights. Imagine the light catching these parts here. And as it swoops back like that, you'll get some shapes like this, following the line of the hair. So we draw quite a few of them in, coming along this line here. And also when you're shading it, you can be a little bits of white to suggest the light catching it as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is rub out all the pencil lines to make a nice clean drawing and then I'll get my darker pencil and we'll start to work on the shading. Okay, so let's start with the hair. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that when you're shading hair, you try and follow the way that the hair's lying or having combed, you know. So basically in this particular instance the hair has been combed in a great quiff bite that way. So try and use your pencil to follow those lines of the hair like that. Okay? If you can manage that then you'll get a good effect. Actually when you come to areas which are quite dark, like this area in here, then you can actually just start to use your pencil in a crosshatch method, you know, like that, just to fill it in. And that will blend in eventually with the lines that you're creating for the hair here, because you can actually get a darker pencil and put your, uh, put them back in again, put these lines across the, the dark areas, okay? So that's two ways of doing it, starting off like that and then building up the dark areas around about those highlights that you drew in earlier, like that. Okay, so I'm going to continue with that. Uh, shading in the hair will take a few minutes, just to be patient, you know. Uh, but I'll do that and uh, I'll catch up with you later, okay. Right, I'm just finishing off the shading of the hair now. I'm just blocking these dark bits in, like that, and then just at the edge, draw in little lines of hair coming in like that, okay? Now I'll move up to the ear and put a bit of shading in here, and get this uh, bit coming down here, just below that area there, in a mid-tone, then it's quite dark in there, and darker in here. Like that. 
Over the top of these uh, bits of shading, by the way, I'll be using a darker pencil and uh, like an AB uh, towards the end, and we'll pick out some of the lines of the hair again. Okay, so let's move down to the eyebrows now. Uh, again, as I picked out the, the way that the hair is lying on the eyebrows with the pen, so we're just to go over that with the pencil now. And you can leave a few white bits when you're shading, okay, like that. This one too. And then down to the eye. Nice bit of deep sh shadow over the top line here. And then down to the eye itself. Nice thick eyelashes. Put a bit of weight on your pencil there. And the bottom of the eye coming in there. And the eyelashes there. And the actual shading of the pupil itself, very dark in the center. A little highlight left. And then the rest of the eye, that's kind of dark, but not quite black tone. Like that. Okay. The other one, exactly the same. Very dark in the center, leaving a highlight with your darker tone around the outside. And these nice big thick eyelashes and the bottom eyelashes as well coming in here. All right. Now there's some shading to be done under the eyes here. You get some shadow appearing in there and also underneath the eyebrows themselves. So you get that kind of angle of shadow appearing there and then this part under the eyebrow is shadowed, coming down to the corner there, and darker and about here. Okay, you get that nice brooding look that Elvis has. Same over here, but a dark shadow in there. And of course, then this side of the face would be in shadow as well. Okay, and also up here. So we've got most of the light coming in from this side. So you can use some sketchy lines, cross hatching, as well as these circular strokes that I'm using, like that. And then down the side of the nose, just very lightly, pick it out. And then underneath, coming up, obviously I've got a chiseled shape, you've got that kind of shape, almost like a straight line coming up and then going up and going over the nostril and round there, and a dark of the nostril itself, and then a nice dark shading in here, this little indentation, and then pick out the other side of the mouth coming in here, with shading on the other side of the face, and we put the dark line under the nose there, there we are, coming down here, now let's move to the lips, again very expressive, quite full lips, and this side of the lip it's almost divided in the center there, it's darker than this part, not too dark there. Darker as it comes around to the corner, a little uh, bit of a line there. And the gap between the lips, you can shade in with a bit of weight coming in like that into the center and then a bit coming over the back of the lip, bottom lip there like that. Okay, and the bottom of the bottom lip can be shaded a bit like that, and then some you bit of shading coming in a bit there. Okay, now get a nice bit of deep shading under the bottom lip, a bit of weight in your pencil again to get the shape of that roundness on his chin. Come in here like that, a bit of shadow under his chin as well. Coming up the side of the jaw there, and then of course under his jawline, the neck would be quite dark. Coming in up like that. Okay, and the actual shirt itself, we can actually again shade in a very kind of sketchy manner. Just use your parallel lines to indicate. the shading of the darkness of the shirt. 
and the collar as well. Same kind of thing. You can do your sketch lines that way if you like that way. Okay, so let's uh, look at this again and see if we can get a bit more shading into it. You get some shading of the side of the forehead here. And then round that muscle at the corner of the eye. And come coming in there. And it's a bit more down the front there. And round this part of the cheekbone here, a better shadow. So again, you can just indicate it by placing some light sketchy lines in. And that will take up that kind of shape here. Give me that. And a bit of shading behind his jawbone there. And you can cross that shoulder if you like a little bit there, maybe a bit there too. Okay, so I'm going to get the um, 8B pencil now and start to uh, then look at it and see if I can get uh, some of these lines toughened up a bit. Right, I've got the 8B pencil now and I've started off by bringing the people of this eye just over towards the corner a bit more. He's looking out at you like that, okay? And accentuating the eyelashes here, thickening them up, thickening up the eyebrow. And also I'm going to work up here as well. And you can see, as soon as I start to do that, you can see the difference in tone between that and that. It darkens it quite considerably. So I'm going to work on that and also pick up some of the, the hairs that are sticking up like that, you know? And also, I can use the lines of the point of the pencil to get the lines of the hair coming in much more dramatically, like that, putting a bit of weight on it. See that? Okay, so I'm going to work on that. And the hair, and I've, once I've done that, I'll uh, meet up again and work down to the bottom part of the face. Okay. Okay, I've been working my way down from the hair now. I'm putting a bit more shading in here, just up the side of the forehead. And this cheekbone is, the light anyway is caught in this kind of area here. So you can shade around about that again. Just uh, suggest your shading, not too heavily. Come down and work on the eye, a bit darker around the eyelashes here. And also under the eye and a bit more dark shading here. And under the mouth now we can do it. A bit more dark shading between the lips here. Get that full lower lip brought out a lot more, as well as that nice curve there. A bit more shading of the top lip coming in there. Like that, okay. And a bit more darkness behind this part of the face here, and also a bit more shading here. Get that nice roundness of the chin. Put a bit of weight in your pencil to get that nice depth of shadow under the chin there. Pick that shape out. Excellent. Well, I think the king's looking not too bad there. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you can join me again for another tutorial soon, but in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.